Hey Libras, how you doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Welcome to your, what the, what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell was that? Something moving over there. Welcome to your uh, general love reading for 2022. Hold on, I'm all discombobulated, hold on. Y'all like, who this bitch? The new people are like, what the hell? This bitch crazy. There we go. I'm on. All right. What's up, Libras? I love y'all. Y'all miss me. It's been a minute. I know I missed y'all too. Don't worry. A bitch is catching up. But I love y'all. I hope all is well. I hope y'all had wonderful birthdays too. All right. But let's see what's popping with y'all. Let's get into the romance angel messages. Thank you for all your birthday wishes, all your birthday gifts. I love all you guys. Thank you to the members. If you haven't checked out the new members read, check it out. I just posted it last night. What's going on with Libra? We got reconciliation in reverse. So someone from your past is not returning, or at least they're not returning right now. Some of y'all don't want this person to return. <laughs> anyway, I just heard that. You got let your friends help you in reverse. Ask for and accept support from others. Some of y'all need to like talk to people that you confide in, that you can actually, con you know, can trust. Maybe you need to open up to them about your love life. Get advice. Some of you Libras. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. Yeah, there's somebody from the past here that you done with. You know what I mean? It's done. It's finito, Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Cause you feeling like the chemistry is not, you know, it's not strong anymore. Like some of you, even with the let your friends help you, that could be like you getting a personal reading from tower readers or just watching more readings, or even, you know, if you go to church, talking to your pastor, talking to your priest, your therapist, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be friends or relatives. What's going on with Libra and love? We got fair male. Some of y'all talking to a lighter skinned person, lighter than darker. It says male or female, short term, quick fling, endings in time. Some of y'all Libras are sick of this short term shit and these quick flings. But some of y'all, I just heard some of y'all feel like that's all you attract. That's not true. Y'all want something that's going to stay. Gifts. Surprises, presents, and openings. Some of y'all, what I just got on the bottom, you got open relationship, casual, no commitment, openness. So some of y'all in an open type connection with somebody. Now, what I was going to say is a lot of you Libras, it's like a gift for some of you that a lot of these people, it was short term with them. Some of you don't see it now, but it was it's actually a gift for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine you would have stayed with the wrong person for 10 years. Shit like that. What's going on with my Libras in love? Let's see. Libras, if you guys want a personal reading, there's an email in the description box below where you can inquire. There's also all of my social media information if you want to be friends on there. There is information in regards to how to become a member of this channel where you get bonus readings. Hey, members, I love y'all. So you can check that out in the description box as well. And don't forget to hit me with the thumbs up, please. Hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, tell a friend, and leave me a comment. Talk to your girl. Let's see what's going on with y'all overall in love. My Libras. We got the five of swords in reverse. Two of cups. You got a connection with somebody here. And you could, if you had any type of conflict with this person or any type of disagreement, you want to make up. Because the connection is strong with somebody here. We got the five of cups. Some of y'all dating somebody that's a transgender. Five of Cups, but that could be you. You missing somebody. Don't look at me like that. The fool. 
You're missing somebody here from your past. You want to make up with them. Eight of Swords in reverse. You want to free yourself. The Fool is about taking a leap of faith. Starting new. The King of Pentacles. Who is that? On the bottom, we got the Knight of Swords. That feels like you. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. Or another Earth sign. Another Libra. A Gemini or an Aquarius. You also got Aries here. Let's clarify the Five of Swords in reverse. If you guys want to join me in the extended... There's a link in the description box that'll take you there. And in the extended, I'll do a full spread on your person, see more how they feel about you and what their future actions will be. We'll also go ahead and pull some Oracle cards as well for advice for you, okay? What? Show me this Five of Swords in reverse. What's that about? The judgment. You want somebody back, but they're not coming back yet or right now. King of Wands in reverse. Very attractive person. Let me see the two of cups. Show me this connection you got with this person. The seven of wands in reverse. You tired of fighting for it though, but you can't walk away from it. With the temperance. So some of y'all trying to give this person time, trying to give them space to see, you know, but you, you haven't walked away from this person. Some of you is a Sagittarius. Show me the five of cups. Somebody has been lighting candles and man trying to manifest this person or manifest love at night. Sometimes outside, seven of pentacles in reverse. Oh, some of y'all, it's a third party thing going on with this person. You miss them. You feel like you've invested in them. Look, the lovers. Some of you is a Gemini. You feel like you've invested in this person. You, you invested in them and you didn't get what you expected in return. Your feelings are heavily invested here. You miss this person a lot. But some of y'all, it's a third party here. But you feel a soulmate bond here with this kind of... It could be a Gemini, a soulmate connection with this person. Let me see the full card, please. Thank you, angels. Strength in reverse. Some of y'all, you scared to start new. You scared to leave this person in the dust because you still see yourself having this happily ever after with this person. You see this person still giving you emotional fulfillment in the future, but the six of swords is here. You're trying to move on. Show me the eight of swords in reverse. Mentally, you're, you're there, but you're waiting. Some of y'all are waiting to see if this person gonna come back. Five of Pentacles, there's distance here. Show me the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this person does very well financially for themselves. Justice in reverse, that's your major arcana card. A lot of y'all feel like this person didn't do right by you. They could have lied, they could have been deceptive. They could have been dishonest with you about something. The devil in reverse. And it could be a Capricorn for a lot of you. The lovers, again. Oh, my God. You feel an intensely strong connection with this person, Libra. It is so strong. But you also are, you've, you're, you've detached. Like, some of y'all don't want to be obsessed. But the connection is strong. But y'all feel like this person did you wrong. A lot of y'all are single right now. And again, you're trying to decide if you want to move on or not. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. What do I do? Because you missed the fuck out of this person. This could have been toxic or you could have been very obsessed. Your energy feels very, some of you are angry. Angry. You could be dealing with another Libra. Heavy Gemini energy there. Okay, let's look individually.
feelings does Libra have for this person? The Knight of Pentacles. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. Some of y'all, there may be issues with family. Like maybe their family doesn't like you or your family doesn't like them. There could be issues with money. Again, the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person you're dealing with. Or they got it in their chart. Five of Wands. There's some type of drama around this person. And some of y'all, it has to do with a third party. There's some kind of conflict. But this, some of y'all, this person is very, doing very well for themselves financially. With the gifts card, they could have bought you stuff. Maybe they bought you something or they're thinking about buying you something. But there's drama. There, there's conflict between you and this person. How does this person feel about you? What feelings does this person have towards Libra? The chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer, some of you. Three of swords in reverse. They're trying to heal from some type of hurt that they feel like you caused them. But they could be traveling to come see you with the chariot or thinking about coming towards you. Because the chariot is about movement. The sun in reverse. This could be a Leo for some of you that you're dealing with. This person's unhappy about how things are currently between you and them. Mm -hmm. But they're a bit pessimistic. Two of Swords. They trying to block out their feelings. They trying to decide here what they gonna do. Because they realize and they're not happy with how things are currently. So what do I do? Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands. You still got a lot of passion for this person. Don't look at me like that. The Hermit in reverse. You still got a lot of passion for this person. They still turn you to fuck on big time. And a part of you still want to wait. It's like you having a fight on the inside. Because a part of you is like, can I trust? Like, can I realistically see something long term with this person? Can we actually be stable together? Can can this person give me stability? Honestly. And you're, you're, you're having a fight with that because you still got fit, strong feelings here. This person could have even helped you financially. They could have done things for you financially. Let me see this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Swords. Yeah, you and your King of Swords shit. Some of y'all dealing with an Aquarius. You're trying to think without your emotions and be more logical. Yeah. You are. Show me the Five of Wands here. No, show me the King of Pentacles. Let's do it in order. Strength in reverse. Yeah, it's not a lot of y'all dealing with a Leo. Some of y'all, this person pissed you off, but you still love them. You still love them. Even though they piss you off, you still love them. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who's a bit materialistic. You got the Queen of Wands, the Death in Reverse, and the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Some of y'all, there's another uh, energy here. It could be a, a third party here, okay? And that could have caused conflict. You're still trying to heal. Let's see this person. Clarify the Chariot. Oh, your person got options here, huh? This person got options and they could be thinking about those options. Should I pursue them? Because those cups, let me see the three of swords in reverse, please. Thank you, angels. The empress in reverse. Show me the three of swords in reverse, please. The fool in reverse. You could have told this person how it was. 
they feel like you you said something or you did something that was kind of foolish towards them. Real foolish and selfish. I don't know. Let me see the sun in reverse. Why are they so unhappy? What's got them pessimistic here? The devil in reverse could be a Capricorn. They know they don't have you like they don't they don't have you how they used to. Like they know they don't have that control over you anymore. And some of y'all might have walked away from this person. If you did, you know, you might have emotionally abandoned this and to them, and they're unhappy about that. Or they could have walked away from you. If they walked away from you, they're not happy about it. They feel like they had to detach from you. They're not happy about it. But for a lot of you, it's because they don't feel like they have that hold on you anymore. Let me see the two of swords. And then we're going to look at their subconscious and the extended. Page of wands in reverse. It's like they don't want, it's like they're not communicating with you, but they're also not moving on. It's hard for this person to move on from, from you. And there you go. Some of y'all, this person sees you as somebody that got a really crazy temper. It's not for all of you, but for some of you, yeah. Look what we got. We got the, damn, these are all four major arcana cards. I just noticed that. The tower, the star, the hierophant, and the lovers in reverse. The tower in reverse. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen in this connection. It's like you and this person, y'all gotta, if y'all gonna make this work, I don't know, I'm gonna see in the extended, it feels like y'all gotta rebuild this connection because neither one of you is letting this tower come down, but there's still some healing that has to happen. I feel like both of you are still committed to each other in a way, but the lovers is in reverse. The connection has been tainted in some way. It's been tainted in some way. It's weakened in some way, right? For them. But you feel it's weakened too. What's in their subconscious with, about the way they feel about you? What's in their subconscious about the way they feel about you? What is in this person's subconscious for the way they feel about Libra? Okay, one, two, four came out, just threw themselves at me. So we're going to look at those hidden truth messages in the extended. If you would like to join me there, there is a link in the description box below. Okay. And I'll go ahead and reveal those hidden four hidden truth messages from this person's subconscious about the way they feel about you. Then we'll pull a full spread on them, see more about how they feel and what their future actions will be moving forward towards you. And then we'll pull you some advice using Oracle cards. All right. Thank you, Libras. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all your support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. If you want a personal reading, holler at me. And I will see you guys in the extended. And I better see you there. If not, I'll see you guys next time. I love y'all. Be well. Be blessed. And make sure y'all donate. Donate to somebody. Some type of charity. All right? I love y'all. Bye.